people, welcome to Maroon Talk, the only segment dedicated for anything and everything UP Fighting Maroons. I'm Femran Batch 2010, UP Los Banos. Ito yun naman, this is here. Shout out to you. Hi! <laughs> Ito yun naman, nila tayo sa Araneta. Dahil nasa beach tayo. So final score was uh, 73 for UP and 67 for FEU. We got our third win of the season. Thankfully, it was a close win. It was yeah, it was a close game, and we have a lot to talk First of all, when I watched the game, we didn't have Henry Galinato and Cyril Gonzalez with us because they had a sore So those two have been playing good. For us, the past for the first two games of the season, so medyo na naramdaman din natin yung ano yung absence nila this game. But thankfully, again, we have a deep bench who can contribute uh, despite their absence. Um, ito dito yung ano. Ne, sige, fine, okay, let's get that out of the way first. So. Despite that, we played, we still played 13 players, if I'm not mistaken. Ano ba? 12 or 13. So, si Coach Gold still dug deep on the bench. Uh, as he has been since Lasal and Adamson. So, yun, kita-kita pa rin yung depth natin as a team. Na everyone who anyone who comes off the bench can contribute uh, just a matter of who will uh, contribute in any given game no? so dahil dyan, let's talk about the game it was an amazing start in the first quarter for the for the maroons ito yung start talaga na perfect well, I mean, nothing's perfect in college basketball, pero this is how we want to start games. It was far off from our first two games, no Lasal and uh, Adamson, where we struggled first quarter pa lang. Uh, in the first quarter of this game, we outscored FEU 23-10. to 10. So, lang bagay. I think Terrence already shot two of his five free, uh, three pointers in the first quarter alone, which gave us uh, a big lead no first quarter who is so everyone was clicking our defense was clicking uh, and kita naman sa scoring our offense was clicking too in the first quarter which gave us a, a very very strong start and this is how we want to start games ever since season 82 this is what we've been saying starts like these are the ones we long for no? so knowing the talent of our team we're very much capable. Kita nyo naman. They sold it no first quarter. We're very much capable of uh, that type of start, that type of gameplay. Uh, sadly, hindi siya nag-translate into the whole game. I mean, the, remain, the remainder of the game. no. So, come second quarter, we then got outscored by FU 32-18 to naman. So it was a totally different story come the second quarter because kung ano yun nila kinung lamang natin ng first quarter hinabul na FU and they get we pretty much got most of the momentum of that second quarter. So overall, the first half was close in the end. Luckily, we're a talented team. We got to stay in the game despite all the mistakes we committed the whole game. Because third quarter, they get na quarter score was 16 to 18, but come fourth quarter, eventually our defense uh, held. FU to 7 points only in the 4th quarter while we scored 16 so yun nga dun, dun ulit lumalabas yung talent natin as a team so despite all those offensive rebounds we gave up 
the whole game we still got to eke out the win talking about offensive rebounds if you out rebounded us total uh, total rebounds 46 they scored they, they got 46 rebounds UP only had 38 so that's 8 more chances to score and dun sa 46 rebounds na yun, 22 were offensive rebounds by FEU let that sink in for a bit but I'm sure ninyo kailangan yung sink in yan kasi if you watch the game makikita nyo na yun so ganun kalaki yung disparity ganun kalaki yung puso nung mga sandagon sila slit sila tempra the guys who were beating us in the rebounds despite us having the obvious height advantage with towards them well, yun nga, wala si Henry tonight uh, Malik I mean, Malik can't rebound while he's in the bench so the other guys should step up no Carl had only 6 rebounds for this game Knowing Carl, si Carl dapat talagang double-double, automatic double-double na yan kada game. But, I don't know man, since the, since, the, since the Adamson game, it looked to me like all he wanted to do was score lang. But luckily, for the plus-minus for this game, he's, 13, he's plus 13 now with 16 points. 3 assists, 3 turnovers, 1 steal uh, Buti si Carl nag-step up nung stretch, down the stretch during the latter half of the 4th quarter to give, to give us uh, a more comfortable lead with those 2 crucial jumpers he hit uh, from mid-range kaya Kaya eventually down the stretch we got a significant lead so momentum was ours then pero sa akin talaga minsan most of this game pinipilit ni Carl hindi siya dumidepensa hence the 6 rebounds since the Adamson game as well okay going back to that Adamson game nung pinapanood ko yung highlights especially in the second quarter ang napansin ko while you know you guys saw that game uh, this was when Jerome Lastimosa was scoring at will sa atin no second quarter na yun. and noticing Carl nung hi kahit highlights na nga lang eh noticing Carl he wasn't even challenging shots na inatake siya inatake yung paint okay fine hindi lang sa kanya but then again if you want an effort to defend with your size hindi pwedeng umiiwas ka sa challenge I mean sa you can't not defend with guys attacking the basket hindi ko alam kung iniingatan niya yung fouls niya or talagang tamad lang sa dumipensa but it was very evident in that Adamson game Hence, he was benched in the fourth quarter because he was a defensive liability, I would say, nung Adamson game. So luckily, he got to step up offensively here on nga, those two crucial baskets down the stretch. Pero if this continues, hindi natin alam, baka may injury siya. Baka, let's say, ganun kung if ever may ganun nga kaya medyo iffy siya sa defense pero it shouldn't be an excuse I would say Carl had 4 fouls din pala 4 fouls for this game pero yun Malik can't do it alone protecting the paint I mean he can but that's not team defense. Hindi natin pwedeng isiasa lahat kay James, kay Maalik, kay Sai, kay Harold. Yung apat na players lang na yun para dumipensa sa atin. Do the dirty work. 
and everyone else score. We can't. We, it's it's not a sustainable practice. It's not it's not gonna be a sustainable habit. Kung yasa natin lang dun sa apat na yon yung ating defensive uh, defensive objectives. It has, it has to be. It really has to be a team effort in getting those rebounds, defending the floor, and dial. If we get stops, dance. If we get stops, we have more opportunities to score. Mas maraming chance na maging pogi yung mga players. Kung sino man gusto siya more. If we get stops, so. But then again, it's FEU, so it's a de it's a, it's also a dangerous side. Knowing Coach Olsen, and he turned it up. Uh, capitalized on our mistakes. And yun, it, 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 it was a close game. It was a close game. Considering the first quarter we had, it should be an easier game at that. But it should it should have been an easier win. Knowing the caliber of uh the caliber of basketball we played in the first quarter. So dun kami nagagaling to summarize this game. Okay. With that, we noticed last negative point. We noticed a significant playing time for Bismarck Lina, which is well and good. We've been waiting for Bismarck to have uh, an opportunity to showcase his talent. Talaga. I mean, I'm I'm a big Bismarck Lina fan, so it was very very nice to see him get. Eight minutes, eight significant minutes, mostly in the second quarter. While uh, Malik was, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Malik was in foul trouble. Nitong laro, nitong part na to, I think he had two fouls in the first half. Kaya most of that si Bismarck ang most of the second quarter si Bismarck ang naglalaro as a center, which he's known for in high school. I don't want to blame Bismarck for the collapse in the second quarter. Anton had his lapses as well in the, defensively. Anton Eusebio. Uh, Bricks. Bricks was steady, but it was that five nung, to close out the first half. Wherein we struggled. Both in offense and defense. Hence the run by FEU. So, but then again, okay, going back to Bismarck, I'm hoping, knowing Henry's gonna be out, let's say for a significant time, we'll see more of Bismarck as a backup to Malik, and hopefully next game against NU, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we show a, he shows a, an improved performance compared to this game. So, tiwala pa rin ako Bismarck. Hopefully he gets to prove his worth once again in the coming game. So, but, because he's gonna be big for us. Bismarck, Anton, everyone on the bench, Aldous, RC, uh, you guys have to always be, I, alam ko naman alam nyo na yan, but you have to be ready. Uh, to sustain whatever performance our, if not better, uh, what what the first group has done before you guys come in. Yun. Let's talk about our key points. Bye. Well, ma. <laughs> our key points. Our key players for this game. My key players for this game is Zave Lucero Terence Fertea Malik Diouf Harold Alarcon and Jerry Abadiano this five if I'm not this five four of these uh, are our starters no for this game if you watch the game I'm sure you've heard of Terence Fertea 
past two games he's been playing amazing for us he was perfect from the three point line three point line and the free throw line three point line finished with he was five of five from three point line most of his points came from there plus two free throws two crucial free throws at that to seal the game Terence, maraming salamat sa'yo now people are seeing what we've been talking about but I mean, okay I always say na they haven't seen anything yet from Terence but this this is what we're talking about kaya kung sinasabing they haven't seen anything yet kasi he has to be consistent with this type of performance and it's nice to see na he's been showing that already in the seniors ranks this is the Terence Forteo we know from the juniors ranks back when he was in high school in NU kasi he's a legit threat as a scorer but now he's uh, completing his game as a playmaker talaga like a legit quarterback court general for the for, for our team which is very very important now as we miss uh, my my kagulangan no? so Terence keep it up everyone's rooting for you now let's talk about Zave wala namang explain pa kay Zave Lucero no? his scoring is there he finished with uh, 10 points plus plus 7 he had 4 steals no sorry 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 yeah yeah he had 4 steals 4 rebounds 1 assist 4 turnovers pero when it comes to Zave kasi the, the thing I noticed so far with 3 games down in the season in a way siya yung nagiging parang nagsifeel dun sa pagkawala ni Richie at ni CJ Cancino the willingness to take the shot when everyone's when when nobody else wants to yung kapal na mukha when it, when it comes to the offense it's either him or Kyle who does that right now at this stage of the season uh, at this stage na I've noticed so Zave is gonna be Zave so hopefully he gets to be consistent still he's improving his game looks like he's working on his 3 point shooting right now <laughs> Zave now we go to Harold you guys know Harold uh, yung, yung pagdepend sa ilastimosa ng Adamson game ginawa lang niya ulit kay LG Gonzalez for this game these are the intangibles na not many people see but Harold scoring 8 points stealing 4 sorry o nga si, si Zave pala yung may 4 steals so again big props to Zave, to Zave for for his effort on defense Harold 2 assists 2 rebounds 8 points you have to watch Harold in games to, to know what I'm talking about I mean his efforts there yung pag asaran niya sa best offensive player sa kabilang team yun yung factor na dinadala ni Harold and you have to notice that you have to watch it to notice that to know what I'm talking about no? so if hindi lang dahil sa napansin niya kasi pogi siya yun talaga yun talaga yung contribution niya sa team handa kahit kala niyo nga boy next door lang yung ano niya pero handa siyang mapagpalitan ng mukha sa kalaban niya and that's that's a big thing for us something we've been missing uh before season 84 so Harold Salawat Tita Remy hi <laughs> Anna May hi lastly I wanna talk about Jerry Abadiano I think this is his best performance at this uh, early on in the season Jerry has been starting for us since the LaSalle game 
Yes, if I'm not mistaken. I think si Adamson din. Jerry scored 7 points. 1 3-pointer and 1 field goal. And he's 2 for 2 from free throws. He also got 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Similar to Harold, Jerry is kind of the same when it comes to his, F, to his impact on the floor. Mostly still defense. Yung scoring niya, it's still not what we know of him. Knowing where he, what he, what he did, what he did <laughs> back when he was in high school. You know, he, he could still score double digits, game in, game out. But he's, he, I'm sure he's gonna find his groove. What we've been seeing effective is that Terence as a point guard and Jerry na I got this from Ryan Alba he noticed it as well uh, shout out to you Ryan I noticed we, we noticed na the one-two combination of Jerry and Terence in our backcourt is quite effective Terence handling the ball while Jerry spots up and does the, the defensive work mostly uh, that's something that's something that we want to see if it's gonna it's really gonna be effective in the coming games so, so watch out for that I'm pretty sure I'm not sure I I think Coach Gold would stick with uh, that one two combination for the starting five at least then Harold or James to start the game at 3 and siyempre Carlin Malik uh, on the front court so tingin nyo rin how about you guys what do you guys think effective ba yung 1-2 uh, combo na yun for us mm. yeah ilang minutes ah 22 kung um, sakto pa okay that's it for FEU and UP again a big shout out sa inyo nila Ate Casey at si Mea Lance Lance Pacquiao uh, Doc Jean Ate Golda Ate Golda um, Sino pang wala Yun Inamiss ba ako? Kay Mark Kay Mark uh, Hopefully nasama, nasama kayo sa ano sa episode sa shoot kasi nga wala ako dun wala kami tis dun sa game and I'm quite happy as well na wala kami sa Araneta <laughs> for this game kasi medyo high blood talaga I, I can't even imagine myself if I was, I was there live uh, at the venue you know? so again we'll take this win uh, hope to see hope, hope to have uh, Cyril and Henry back as soon as possible because they've been very, very big for us coming off the bench so, kita naman dito sa laro, as I've said earlier, na kita yung impact na nawala sa kanila with them not playing. Yes. Let's take this win, celebrate. Then we go to work again tomorrow. They, they, go, to, they go to work again tomorrow and watch, watch out for that Wednesday game. Big Wednesday game we have against... Check ko na nga. Tama. Ayan nyo nga. At 1pm. Another big game up. Alam na natin yung kwento nitong NU. Medyo may brewing rivalry nga nung preseason. So it's gonna be a big game. We lost against them in Phil Oil. So we have to win convincingly this time. Just to shut everyone up. You know. Yan. See you guys in the next one. Congrats UP for the win. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you everyone. See you guys. Peace. Peace.